Today is Friday, May 10th. This is the Walter Helotronic Mini Power. Um, I'll do a walk around on the machine. Uh, we'll run through some basic functions of, of jogging the axes around and homing the machine out and running the spindle. Um, we, our operators are not terribly familiar with programming, so I don't have any programs to run, but by homing the machine out and moving everything around, uh, it should give a very good feel for what the machine is, is currently able to, to how it's able to perform. Uh, so let's go from there and start the video. I'm going to start in the rear and do the back first. The, yeah, the doors open, I'll shut them here one more quickly. When the doors are open, the air conditioner is running, it just creates, it's dripping, creates a lot of condensation sucking the moisture out of the air. So anyways, uh, inside of the control panel is here. Basic stuff. The counter for the hours is right there. tank. Now as noted and as has been discussed, the, the OEM pump uh, and it's, it's not here. Uh, I don't have the cover for it either. You can see that is the pump. Uh, maybe hard, it's lack of light, sorry about that. There's a submersible pump down there. Um, it's really not the ideal pump, but it is what it is. Uh, and then here's the cannon plug that would have attached to the original pump and system. Uh, and this coolant tank will is on uh, little tracks there. It will roll off the pan and roll back in. This is the air input manifold. And goes through there. We are currently running the machine on 440 volts, three phase. Um, when this input is not in use, I, I don't recall. Um, I'm, not, I'm not honestly sure what that input was for. When we run the spindle, it's going to be a little hard to hear just the spindle itself because we don't have, I believe it's because we don't have any wheel packs in there, they're blowing air through it to keep out coolant and uh, particles and other things of that nature. So you're going to hear a lot of hissing air, which is, is normal, I don't see any problems, uh, but it makes it harder to hear the actual spindle. That is a 50 taper tool holder in there. Uh, we just took the tool out, or the, I'm sorry, the, the nose off the collet. So when it rotates, we just didn't have any safety issues there. There are your foot pedals. Uh, you wanna just jog everything around for me? Okay, let me get. Okay, that's the A axis there. That's C axis. That's the X axis. The noise you hear is these uh, this accordion style way guarding, which makes a little bit of noise.
And that's jogging feeds at 100% too. Um, okay, now we're going to, uh, you're going to home it out? Yeah. Okay, we're going to home everything out. Okay, there we have machine in home position. Just have to. That he took the door switch out, he removed the tool, put the tool back in. You do that via the foot pedal down there. Put the door switch back in. doing now is just a little bringing uh, all the axes uh, towards center when uh, if you home it and then we tend to shut them down and park them when these machines turn on again and you rehome them they want to move the opposite direction and then they wind up hitting the limit switch and then you have to go through a procedure to, to, to clear all that out um, which we weren't familiar with but we've got some help and work through it because we did we made that mistake um, anyways uh, so that's why we're just moving it back the other way. And then we're going to run a spindle now. We're going to run it at 4,000 RPM. So that's, that's the area here. But, uh, and then you can have a spindle. Okay, we're going to drop speed to 1,000 RPM. Thousand RPM. Don't know that's still four thousand. Sorry about that. It's still four thousand. There we go. Then we drop to a thousand RPM. And there's sorry for the in and out. There's two thousand RPM. That's 3,000 RPM, 4,000 RPM, and 5,000, 6,000, Nine thousand RPM, and that's eight thousand. That should be everything. And that was through the spindle speeds. Stop from the other side, and there that air stopped. Door's a little sticky, um, but not, I mean not bent up or anything. Just it, I think it just drags a little bit. Probably has some dirt in there. It's a little sticky. So that is the basic operations. If there are any questions, please feel free to ask.